Okay. I am one dumbass motherfucker, am I? Oh no, if I'd fuck your mother, I'd be stupid. <laughs> yes, yes, this is crazy Tommy Tudor. Uh in Thomas mode still. Yes. Ah shit. I give up. <laughs> uh Tommy and Thomas are the same person. Thomas is just Tommy being polite. <laughs> Forget about Tom. That's that's the blam blam blam, and, and and the cops know what's up, and don't make me. <laughs> that's really where it's at. Just leave me the fuck alone on that. Um, <laughs> that's my mom. She used to say, "Well, oh, that cracked me up." Uh, so anyway, um, I was trying to introduce my books here, because uh, we're we're about something here. You know, this is about music and arts, and sciences. You know, fuck the, fuck the dumb shit. I, 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 I'm a I'm bachelor of science in marine biology with a fine arts performance minor. Ta da! <laughs> I, the minor's kind of fuds because I don't, I don't know if I had real credits. and You know, I just took what I needed to take for what I wanted to know uh, on that stuff. You know, I, I had an unbelievable relationship with Dr. Robert Harder, and I had an unbelievable relationship with uh, Dr. Terry Moe. And uh, a bunch of us had unbelievable relationships with Ron Delton and that crazy dude, man. <laughs> and then there was all the rest of the faculty of the music and, uh, department and science and math department. Plus a few others that managed to get in the way all along, all along the way because it was that kind of school. Uh, University of Tampa, Florida. Um, I don't need to talk about Beanie right now because I've been doing enough of that. Uh, say a little bit about Debbie Friedman because that's what we're going to be singing unto God. Uh, with uh, the uh, with with this puppy, right here, yeah, yeah. We're gonna sing Debbie Friedman unto God. Her, Debbie Friedman, if you don't know, is the woman who single-handedly updated the Hebrew liturgy, the music. Uh, I I was blessed and privileged to have uh, sung behind her before she ever even um, before she ever e e even recorded it on anything more than a shitty ass cassette deck. That sounded like crap. Uh, and Joel Greasaver too. I don't even know what he's been doing since we were together for the Sifty Caravan, and 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 I've just been recently reconnected to him, and he's too busy to even bother me. He never hired me, and I don't think he even responded much. Just accepted a friendly letter, a friend request, and went on about his business. I never even heard from him. I don't think. Uh, Ron Mitchell was about the same way. When I needed him, and shit was flying, and ah, I still would like to know, hey man. You know about the chain thing, <laughs> and, and, and what we're supposed to do when it does hit the fan because it's going to do it soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mitch, Mitch, yeah, yeah, Leroy Mitchell Jr. is the third or something like that. Uh, Major Mitchell, yeah, <laughs> Major Mitchell. That's one of my fraternity brothers. Crap, crap, aside, Alpha Sigma chapter. We care, Subi, though. <laughs> I've been hiding out from the, U the UT Alumni Association because all they want is my money, and I don't have any to give them. And I still don't have any to give them, but maybe this year. <laughs> anyway, this is this is the C for or say for how they say it. So the Semester of Heritage Foundation. This is the Art Scroll Theater. It's a beautiful book. And for those of you not familiar with the Hebrew liturgy, it's a book that starts from the right end and opens up onto the first page. And we're going to read this right here. I don't give a shit how long this thing takes uh, at this point because I know what I'm doing. And if it's too long, hey, well, don't watch it. <laughs> this is for God. Uh, this is the Art Scroll Transliterated uh, Linear Theater. Based on a complete art scroll sitter with translation and commentary by Rabbi Nawson Sherman. Uh, introductory essays and comments by Rabbi Benjamin Yehudi and designed by Rabbi Shia Brander. Uh, it's the Orthodox Union, you know, the OU on, 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 on the food stuff. These are the guys that inspect the food. These are the guys that, 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 that call the shots on, on, on what's, what's, what's kosher and what's not. Um, and they're trustworthy and they, up until recently, they were pretty much opposed to what was going on in Palestine. I don't know what happened with the Kabadniks, but now all of a sudden they're back in the play. Oh, uh, well, since they did this, the secular thing, but they're there and we got to do it. Uh, I don't think so. But we got no right to do that. 
Um, but that's another topic I didn't want to go into. I just want to talk about how I'm going to be dominant here. Uh, I'm waiting. I, when am I going to let Eric Jerome die? Shit! I can't stand it anymore. Especially when I'm seeing the same crap keep coming through my feet. Oh, yeah. There's 15,000 Palestinians getting uh, displaced for his grave. <laughs> all that kind of shit. And, and oh, yeah, I mean, hit another kid in the face with a um, tear gas can. No, not really. Uh, but that's, that's the kind of crap I'm seeing every day. It's driving me nuts. And I'm seeing these beautiful Arab children of my friends alive and dancing around and having a good time and smiling and then seeing the ones that they're killing. They're coming through the beat. It's just driving me crazy. I can't stand it anymore. I can't look at it. And I'm going to be doing it like this. I'm typing shit like that. I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and I'm going to read the stuff on people's site right into, right into the camera and let them fucking fight it out. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, moving right along. Because I, I had, I, you know, I, I'm me and, you know, what would you do with, I say, I got a tune, would you get up and walk out on me? Let me your ear and I'll sing you a song. And I'll try not to sing out of key. Mmm, I get out a little help from my friend. Uh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Could it be anybody? I just need someone to love. Could it be anybody? I really just need someone to love. Well, what would you do if your love were away? What were you to be alone? What would you do at the end of the day? Would you be sad because you're all alone? No, I get by with a little help from my friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was a lot of help from my friends. <laughs> Launch me off this wall, baby. <laughs> uh, anyway, I can't do that. I, I'm not I'm not rehearsed for this shit. Wow. Uh, just everything. My voice, I mean, my voice is racked from too much smoking, but I can fix that with enough tea and uh, cinnamon and shit and coughing. Boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack up some goobers over the next couple of weeks and hopefully get down to at least uh, 175. Uh, in time for the show, and, and be really slim and trim and looking like a good bimbo pippy chick. <laughs> yeah, get a good look at this, boys, because it ain't going to be what you're going to look at at the show. <laughs> oh, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> uh, anyway, back, back to reality. Oh, that's not reality? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, where do we want to go? We got, we sang the song, and we, we, did we talk, since I fucked up, I was talking for about 10 minutes to, to a, to a, to a, to a picture waiting to me for the take it. <laughs> I said the camera. I said, and I've only been at it for 8 minutes and 31 seconds, 32 seconds here. And so, you know, I, I, I feel I got, I got a right to, like, really kick it out here, because I'm in my studio, I'm relaxed, everybody worries about me going on a manic break, and I'm fucking tripping balls. You know, I just got to, I just got to, I got, I got an incoming line here. Well, we got to pray for you, Felipe. Uh, absolutely. And Felipe and his family need to contact me immediately. Um, or contact Greg because he knows what's going on. Um, I'll, I'm going to try and get hold of uh, the Crow Dog and then I'm going to try and get hold of the Big Mountain Dancers. Um, I probably should do that when I get up tomorrow and really focus on, on getting a hold of them people for Felipe because it's that serious. Uh, I don't want to say why. Um, council's here. Uh, I don't see any bullshit. I won't put up with any bullshit. Uh, I built it. Um, and I built it at the request of my brother Greg, who I've known for many, many years and never really got to know very well because we were just in the same crowd. And and, and he's, he's, a, he's he's like real feckin', which is like kind of, you know, to the neoliberal fascists, that's like real ugly kind of shit with who, the, the way he lives. And it's like, hey man, it's a spiritual lifestyle. And he's taking responsibility for all his women and all his children into his own spirit. God bless him for it. And fuck you if you don't like what I have to say. You know, you're taking neoliberal fascist shit and take it back to the forums. 
you know, we're, we're a family here. Uh, we're a non-denominational, multi, multi, multi-ethnical family. Everybody's welcome. Every belly, no matter what it's about, even if it's about shooting dope and all that other crap, as long as it's not about violence. Now, since shooting dope and all that other crap is always about violence and money and predatory behavior and all that other shit, I'm calling a hand on that. I got it right next door here with Johnny Two Wolves. This motherfucker was the very first person ever tried selling me the sacred mushroom. We used to buy that. We was, we used to stop and gather yeah, and sit by the garbage bag full and give it away. People still do. I don't know what the fuck these people are about, but they're selling sacred sacrament. They're doing dope. They're they're, they're doing scag. Um, she's fucking wasted. Like I've never seen anybody wasted, but I think they're trying to get her up a little bit now. Now now that she's in a relaxed environment, not. Now they can get her up and really get her slick looking, because dude's looking pretty slick. And I'll kick their asses if they come anywhere near me. I'll kill them. I mean, I, I, mean, I won't. I won't be trying to kill them, which is what the police are worried about. <laughs> and me, thank God, the police and I are both on the same page on this one. Because boy, ooh, it's been pretty fucking tense several times. Dude's been right up in my face telling me he's gonna have people kill me, and then some of these people that he said he was gonna have kill me start pointing me out on the street. How stupid can you get, especially with me? It took, it, <laughs> it took Rudy Axelford uh, to, to, to get pissed off to shoot me and have them shoot me in the back and say, kill me like they did Rick Shaw John and, and Professor Scott. And, and if you heard what I just said, well, I don't, and you want to ask me about it, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'll be glad to talk about it because, you know, uh, I saved that man's uh, son's life. And my truck. <laughs> oh, fuck her truck. <laughs> John Dennis David Barrett Jr. If any of you know this, brother, this is the most unbelievable story. Well, this is one of the most unbelievable one of my hip stories that I could not can tell about. An old family brother has been long gone. John Dennis David Barrett Jr., a.k.a. Rich Hunt John, uh, the Rajnitsky Bill and your foot in Celeste and Garbageville and Venice Beach homeboy. Oh man. Uh, and the son of, son of son of he was my he was the son of a Bank of America president and he was my he was my amateur manager. This 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 man, John John was wonderful. Rick Shaw John with his walrus mustache and his buddy the mayor John Corcoran. Uh, and 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 these were two of the most beautiful men. This was the mayor of Venice Beach and 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 the, and the and his, whatever you want to call him, man, John Barry, because he was in charge. No, he ran that piece. Everybody loved him. The cops, the marches, everybody took care of him. And he was, he was beautiful. He, he, had his, he had his bicycle with his, his little rickshaw behind him. Give people rides up and down the beach, and he just loved it. A little dinner, and then he never, oh, man. And, and, and Rudy killed him with a hot shot, because they liked to chip a little bit, and it was, and it, I don't want to go into that stuff right now. We got to pray for Felipe, and we got to uh, like repair our family communication skills online. It's gotten way out of hand, um, and I'm going to focus this in because we're coming up on 13 and a half minutes, and I know nobody's going to want to listen to more than 15 minutes of us yet because that's all we get on the, on the festival stage is 15 minutes, and I'm coming up on my 15 minutes, and that's what I'm about is I'm an indie music and uh, arts festival producer. Uh, we're uh, Real Things Artist Cooperative, been around since 1985, been in several places, everybody knows me who should, and everybody who doesn't know me that doesn't, well, hey, I don't care. Whatever you think of me, I don't care. It doesn't matter, because you're stupid and I'm not. <laughs> it's plain and simple, people love me, and, and more people love me than you can make hate me. That's what it's about. More people already love me than anybody can make hate me. And every time all you people try to make people hate me, more people love me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing how stupid you are. So keep it, keep it coming to my fan club. Uh, if you want to meet my fan club, go to www.anothermessageboard.com and meet Tom Madera, the Air Force idiot that they got on me. And yeah, I got good reason to believe they got this guy on me. And I, I can show why. Because uh, I'm smarter than all of them. <laughs> and I knew not to blow shit up and that nuclear piles don't belong anywhere near people and all this other shit. Um, because I, I listened to and, and looked and learned rather than, okay, fine, I'll do that. Um, yeah, question authority, because that's what humans are about. Um, and forget this anthropogenic shit, uh, or climate change, it's like two things are happening. Um, there's a lot of shit going on out in outer space that's affecting the Earth, and there's a lot of wild weather happening. Um, and it's going to keep happening for quite some time, and it's not going to get any better if they keep dumping shit in the atmosphere. 
thinking they're going to make it go away. <laughs> or trying to kill us, whatever the fuck it is they're doing. Whatever it is they're doing, they're doing it without our permission and they're doing it all wrong. Um, now that's just the way it is. That's fact, Jack. And it's 1509 minutes. So on that, I'm going to say happy day. And thank you for listening this far, if you really got this far. And I uh, hope to see you online doing the right things. Bye.